Oh, so, so when it starts to go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, the pot will not look like that. <laughs> if you love food and flavor, then you're in the right spot because this is how to food in Asian. Today, Chef Jason is going to be teaching us all about stewed oxtails. So let's get cooking. Keze! <sighs> oxtails! Long awaited oxtails. I think even since we started to do the show, people have been recommending, you know, let mm -hmm. us do this, please, put in the suggestions. I mean, our foodie family loves a good stew, and we are here to deliver. And the thing about it is that here in Trinidad and Tobago, we love stew oxtails straight up to the Caribbean. Mm -hmm, My mm -hmm. friends all in Jamaica, they pride themselves on some good stew oxtails. So, guys, yeah. our Jamaican friends outside there, Guyana, Grenada, all these things, check out and see what's going on. This is how this we do it here in Trinidad you. and Tobago. Mm -hmm. So, we got these beautiful oxtails. You know where these come from? Which, which tail? <laughs> I, I, I imagine it's the tail of the ox. Sure, it's not the pig? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it could be the pig of the, the tail of the pig. I mean. No, exactly, you're correct. So, tail of the, uh, the ox, and uh, as you can tell, it has a be that beautiful bone inside there which carries right. a lot of flavor. Mm -hmm. The thing about it is that this tends to be a bit hard to cook in okay. terms of its cooking time. So it takes long... It takes a long time. So when doing it, we tend to do it in a pressure cooker or in a braising method. We will Quick get thing. to that in a little while. So what I did here was lime in a little earlier and I just used a little bit of lime juice. I wash it with some limes as of you all can see what's going on here. Mm -hmm. Any little bit of freshness inside there, we get rid of that, right? Right. So limes inside there. We're going in with salt. Of course, you know, when we're starting to do any beef products or even poultry, meat, seafood, salt and black pepper is a fundamental. We must season. We must season. We must... Season. But this is what makes our food so good in the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. We don't skimp on it. That's for sure. Speaking about not skimping, aromatics time. Minced ginger, uh -huh. onions, uh -huh. garlic. Who's this over here? That is pimentos. I knew that. Flavoring peppers. You could use jalapenos if you don't have pimentos. They are all flavoring peppers. They're okay. really good. And of course, Chardon Benny or Culantro. So this is our typical mix that we love in our seasoning. We love this stuff a lot. This is what really brings together our cuisine. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to start to mix it up. Kezi, we also have some, some green seasoning inside there. But of course. So we're going to send, we have a recipe for this on the channel also. I mean, you guys have seen us use this seasoning so many times. You have to be familiar by now. This is the DNA of Trinidad and Tobago. Green seasoning. We have mm -hmm. celery, sive, scallions that is inside there, peppers. And you mix it with love like you taught me. Now, the thing about marinating this stuff is that you want to make sure you get all those great ingredients. You see the garlic, the ginger, right. the shadow benny, the green seasoning on top of it. That is so important. You make sure you marinate it well. And how long would you marinate something like this for? If you could do this overnight, Kessie, yeah. you're in for a treat. Is it because it's so thick and it needs some time to really get in there? The thing about it is that it does give out a lot of flavor. It tends to be a bit dense sometimes. Mm -hmm. So the thing about it is that you allow it to get inside there also. Got yeah? it. So some tomatoes. Now, why are these tomatoes not diced up? Why are they whole? Remember, we are going to be whole. pressure cooking this in a little while. Okay. Usually, the ingredients that you would add in a pressure cooker, they break down very easily over a course of time. Oh, so this is to make sure it doesn't get all mushy instantly. So you cater for that. It yeah. holds up then it in the pressure cooker. It has integrity and it stands the test of time. Okay, Fran. Kezi, we're going to allow this to marinate. Right. I think a minimum of at least an hour works for me. Mm -hmm. If not overnight, works well. And then we're going to start with our next process to put it in the pressure cooker. Got it. Kezi, pressure cookers. I they find your... <laughs> So you fancy, fancy. I fancy. F-A-U-N-C-Y. My mommy pressure cooker, you have the handle and you have to ting up. But look, look, right, look. Alright, so this is a modern day one. Alright. See, instead of the ones that you have to... Turn, uh-huh. This one has almost like a combination lock. So you open it out like that. Well, excuse see. us, please. Listen. Very nice. It's foodie nation, you know, guys. We Very the nice. The Let's get started. Right. We are going to start with the stewing process. We've done this millions of times on the so show. So many times. So vegetable oil goes inside there like that. And we know what's next. Brown sugar. You can't make some good stew without brown sugar, right? I mean, I oh. like to use basically brown sugar when doing this. You can use white sugar, but something about the molasses. Uh, no, use brown sugar. Forget that oh, white sugar. Oh, oh, use a boss. Come. Come. <laughs> Come. Still, still. This is, I've been doing this with you. I've been doing it. Right, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Move it around. Move it around. Get that mm -hmm. nice car. We already reached. We already reached, my friend. Mm -hmm. 
If you've never checked out our stew chicken video, check it out. It breaks down the stages of how sugar caramelizes to get that beautiful crude color that we know. Agreed. Brown. Look, look, look. Go? We're ready to go. We're Meet ready. me. Let me Meet go. me. Okay, so ready to go? Yeah, go All through. Right. Ooh. Ah, boy. Ooh. Check that out. Hold on to the pot. Must. Give it a nice stir. So what's going stay on here, ladies up, and up, time. is that basically the brown sugar is going to start to coat those beautiful pieces of oxtail to get that caramel color going on. It's staining it. You get that nice lacquered tongue like finish this? on the outside. Check it out. Mm. Amazing, right? We're already reaching somewhere, friend. You're looking good already. Right, right, to right. To add additional sort of color. Some depth. Some depth. No bus depth. We are going to be using some tomato <laughs> paste. So let me just go inside there with that. Please, thanks. Oh, I find these oxtails a little big now. I'm struggling a little bit. But sometimes now. you get small tails, you get big tails. Yeah. I'm happy when you get these nice sides because something about oxtails, when you're eating them, you want to get a nice big piece in your food and it has so much bone already. And that's it. And it cooks down well. Exactly. That's the problem when eating oxtail. You can never have too much. You can never have enough. Talking about that, you know, it could be quite expensive, right? I mean, to the best of my knowledge, when we were growing up, oxtail was a little bit cheaper than it is now. Well, different parts of the country, you get it at different prices and different yeah. meat marts and so forth like yeah. that. The thing about it is that, yeah, it's a bit, it used to be cheaper, now it's mm -hmm. a little more expensive because it's so flavorful. Right, it. right, right. Carrots. And these carrots are chopped bigger because of the same reason the tomatoes were. They cook down. To hold up. Exactly. If you okay. put them small like that, they're going to break down. Mm -hmm. Nothing is wrong putting the ingredients inside there like that. But if you want something to stand the test of time, have some integrity so you see the Make chunks sure of they get in there. There you go. We're going with some celery stems inside there. Go That's true, go local true, celery. go true. Anybody else? We really don't like to waste time on the show. So, I mean, let's put it in one time. How many time jokes do you really have? Um, maybe just one. And I use it every time. Oh, there you go. Two. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, please. Onions go inside there. Please, please. No. So more onions. We had them in the seasoning and yes. now we have them again. Onions become very complex in the dish. Right. So they get sweeter. You know when you eat a burger, sometimes you get caramelized onions on top of it? Yeah. Add great sugar profiles. Mm. Speaking about some sweetness in our life, a little bit of a flavor distinction. Where are we going with this? Cinnamon stick. The whole stick? The whole stick. The whole stick. Yeah, I mean, put it inside there. <laughs> like cook down. Like we're gonna take him out later we will take it out later okay i mean i just want to make sure i wasn't eating cinnamon stick with this up no you're not gonna eat cinnamon stick my friends in jamaica will say that cinnamon stick is very important when doing a good braise or a good stew oh yeah by all means so what we have here is some coconut powder that i right. added in the water so coconut milk coconut milk you can use water to cook it as it is you can use stock stock mm -hmm. we are in trinidad and tobago caribbean we're using coconut milk. These okay. are the flavors that help our food shine. So we're going inside there with that. Mm -hmm. mm. So it's going to cook down in this whole coconut milk because, process. Because the coconut milk fit perfectly. Now and braising of course, and stewing is the same thing. It means to submerge your meat in the water. Right, so right, to right. For a long period of time, but low and slow. Okay. And that yields maximum flavor. Well, you know I have to scrape the bottom. Why are you scraping the bottom for? Because you told me it's important to get all that goodness that sticks when you're stewing. You see, I don't forget. So Kezi is the host of the show. She knows <laughs> these principles. I know you guys have been watching the show from since the inception. And you all same know thing, these same, same thing, things. Same thing. Stick with us. We will not lead you astray. All right. So we covered. Everybody's inside. We're ready to dance. So put the spoon here for me. Well, okay. Anyway. Let's bring our fancy schmanchy <laughs> thing on top. Put it on. Mm -hmm. Tune it like a dial, like a bolt. <laughs> So easy. Guys, this is the coolest. I love this pressure cooker. It's we're so cute. We're high heat. Now mm -hmm. what's going to happen here, we're going to allow this to cook for about 50 minutes. Okay, so we just leave it from now, 50 no. minutes later? It needs to come up to a boil. Right. At that point when it comes up to a boil is when the cooking time initially starts. So from there, 50 minutes. But with a pressure cooker, you don't open it. So how do you know then when it's boiling? So you have the pressure valve and where, which you have here. It right. allows the steam to emit. Oh, so, so when it starts to go... <laughs> okay, well, the pot will not look like that, but when the steam starts to come out, then we start checking out 50 minutes. Exactly, and then Ooh. our oxtails will be ready. All right, so we're leaving this bad boy uninterrupted, high heat, boil, then 50 minutes. Correct, madam. We'll check back. Check back. Well, you know, we fancy here, right? It smells so <laughs> good in here. Mm. Ooh, baby. 
Check Beautiful. that out. Kezi, you hear about meat falling off the bone? It's like meat falling off the meat. <laughs> it's very tender. <laughs> I give you that. Bravo, bravo. Look how beautiful that is. 50 minutes. Now, if you want, you could actually leave this open and yeah. allow the sauce to thicken up. Okay, so reduce a little bit. We got to be very careful because it does continue to cook. What it, kind of heat are we looking at then? We're looking for, for that to reduce. We're mm -hmm. looking at a medium heat. Medium. Okay. A lot of people sometimes remove the meat from it. Right. Reduce the sauce, the sauce. And then put it back inside. Okay. But at the same time, I like my thing saucy, girl. The saucy is you know, better. Let me plate it up now. Let's eat. Because you can't say I don't treat you good at all. Huh? I mean, you know. this smells so Oh, good. Like, I mean, I know as I always say, things smell good. Listen, you know it is? It's yes. cinnamon. Good. It's cinnamon. I feel like it's that and that coconut milk kind of smell that's coming out. Mm. Yes. Oh. I'll tell you something. Yeah? People actually will braise oxtail in red wine also. Ooh, that nice, nice richness. Rich. Mm. But let me deal with this richness. Simple thing. Simple thing. How nice it is. I put a little bit of chives on top. So mm -hmm. Let me take out a piece. Oh my god. Ooh. It thinks it thinks half like a baby's bottom. Tender. Tender. Could I take that piece that down. And I know you don't really eat this too much, Kezi, so I'll give you a small no, piece. But I love a good oxtail. <laughs> don't <laughs> try to fight, man. Let's go in, let's go in. Look at that. I mean. Oh, you see, oh, I've seen so some you're seeing the pieces of tomato still there. Still old, just like the piece of carrots as well. Right. So, so it they, held up pretty well. It's held up pretty well, which is mm -hmm. important. So you mean you get all these great chunks of vegetables yes. inside you. Ready to win? I mean, I'm a little scared. It's it a little hot. I know it's hot, but I have custom dealing. Oh, 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 oh. Custom ooh. dealing with hot thing on a daily basis. Chef, I can't even pick mine up. It's too tender. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, let's see in this. Kelsey, hmm. you're moving slow, girl. Mm. Wash, boy. Mm. It's so, so soft. Listen, when you see this bone, you see meat practically falling off the bone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Usually now we talk about things like other recipes, etc., etc. But this is where it's at. Guys, stop what you're doing. Stop what you're doing. Go on your own. Get some oxtail and try this recipe, which is linked down below. Check that box. Try this recipe because this one, this one is one for the books. Listen, stew beef is tastes good. Yeah. I confess to that. Stew oxtail. But oxtail, it's just extra. It gone a hundred percent. Ten ten would recommend. Chef, can we eat some more? Kesey, what are we eating this with? Kesey, I think, and I don't know, potato salad, kit tree, provision. Rice by itself? What are you thinking? Even hops bread, some nice homemade hops bread oh that we show you guys all the made bread. That would suck up all this nice mm. liquid. That's liquid love. Listen, this, so good. I'm mesmerized right now. Bravo. I, Bravo, people. my friend. Guys, don't forget to subscribe for more. You know we love when we spend time with you in the kitchen. So until next time, before this man eat the rest of my oxtail, Bye-bye.